All right, today I'm going to show you how I set up this uh, Huan Yang 4 kilowatt inverter I picked up off eBay. And it was about 186 bucks. Delivered FedEx to my door. I think it arrived here in four days. I was kind of depressed when I saw the FedEx lady show up at my door. I'm running it off 220. Um, this is rated for 5 horsepower. I'm running a 3 horsepower on this knee mill that I picked up for cheap. And uh, had it set up at first and never realized the belt was shot to hell, so needless to say. I'm going to need a new one. I've ordered two online, so hopefully they arrive soon. Um, first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to set up um, the voltage of the motor. Um, hopefully your motor has a plate and tells you um, how to set it up. This is a 220 uh, 440 motor, uh, so make sure you set it on the low voltage. Um, and it's X, Y, and Z is together. U1, U2 together. V1, V2, and so on. Pretty simple. Make sure you have that set up right. And uh, on the inverter itself, this is the 220 coming in. And that's on your ERNS. Uh, well, basically your RNS. This is the ground, the green here on E. RNS is the 220. The the um, UV and W, that's your three phase to the motor. Um, doesn't matter which way you hook that up at first. If you realize that the rotations are going the wrong way, uh, you can flip any two wires and it'll reverse the rotation. Um, if you're running a rotary switch or a f any kind of switch for forward and reverse, you can also flip these two wires and basically it will do the same thing. Um, this is DCM and this is uh, reverse and forward and I'll show you how I set that up at the end here but be, these are basically the pro programming parameters that I've used and um, I'm in Canada 60 Hertz is uh, the norm USA is the same thing um, and these are the parameters 13 you want to start off with um, basically restores to factory defaults 05 that's 60 Hertz for the uh, um, your max frequency you can set faster it'll it'll rev the motor quicker um, don't know if these Chinese bearings will be able to handle more I've got a very speed transmission on this mill anyway so it doesn't matter I've got more than enough speed what it's gonna have stock so I'm saving I'm just setting it at 60 that's fine 220 was the max voltage 142 that was the amperage on the motor 8.5 amps 141 was the voltage on the motor uh, 144 1720 rpms um, and 143 that's the number of poles and uh, if you don't know what that is apparently I found online you take 7200 divide that by your rpm and you get that value it was already set up on default at four and I uh, spoke to a friend he said that's normal four poles for this type of motor I don't know I'm not an electrician um, 14 and 15 is uh, the Excel and D cell times I set it up at three seconds um, which is working fine um, you could set up a faster deceleration it seems to be stopping pretty quick under you know belt load and all that kind of crap um, but you can set it up quicker if it trips out your drive and then you're gonna have to put a longer D cell or you're gonna have to add a resistor of the appropriate value and it says in the manual uh, what you need to do to set up a an, uh, a resistor but I'm not gonna get into that and then these parameters here are set up for uh, forward and reverse switch so you just set up the 001 once you set up that 001 you won't be able to hit run anymore to start um, the motor up uh, you're going to need to use a switch so once you hit once you make that the one um, you need to be using a switch to turn this thing on and off uh, 44 and 45 set up to 02 and 03 it explains it in the book but if you set it up uh, like I did here you'll have no issues 
So basically, you know, I've used a simple uh, rotary switch. Um, came with the mill. It basically, you know, just makes a connection across DCM here to forward or DCM to reverse. It's just a simple setup like that. You can use this style of switch too. Um, double pull, well, single pull, double throw uh, will work okay. Um, and basically, you know, here's the switch. I'll flip it to forward. And stop. Let's see the direction. And then reverse. And that's basically all set up and ready to go. Just need my belt and I should be machining in a few days here as soon as my belt comes in. Anyways, hopefully that helps you out in setting up your your drive and hopefully I'll have a quite a few years of use out of this uh, VFD. It was about a third of the price of what I could get one locally so saved quite a bit of coin. Anyway, good luck!